back with another video for you today. I am here with Dahlia and she had introduced me to a brand. Well, I don't know if you really introduced me to Parfums Cortana. I got a sample set once upon a time because I'd read an article about the theme of this line and a, I, a sucker for good marketing, genuinely. And uh, we'll talk about the theme in a second. So then I gushed about the sampler set, mm -hmm. but I didn't actually, I think you got, you, you connected with you them all on your own. You didn't let me smell your samples. I got samples sent to me from Parfums Cortana, jo Joseph Cortana, and I reviewed uh, Wolf Spain so far on the channel. And today we're reviewing Midnight Datura, oh. this one right here. And we also have uh, a full bottle to give away for a subscriber of this channel, plus five additional discovery kits or sampler kits uh, for subscribers of this channel. So six prizes total. And if you want to find out about Midnight Datura, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time tuning into this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and of course participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So you had sampled this line last summer, I believe is when you told me about it. That sounds right. As soon as you told me about it, I think Joseph had reached out to me and said, can I send you samples? So we were kind of like sampling him almost around the same time but I think you had already sampled them by the time I got my samples. Parallel lives. I think you liked this one and you also liked Wolf Spain. I loved Wolf Spain. And I liked Blood Flower. Okay. And I don't remember, sorry, the other ones that I liked, but um, I wrote tiny little notes on the tiny little sampler set that I... So You're organized really, that way. Well, yeah, but then I loaned it to somebody and never got it back. Oh, so. crap. Yeah, so I don't really know what I liked. But um, <laughs> but I do remember Wolf Spain smelled like... Um, um, like a push pop from like when you're a kid and oh. you have, you know, the, the ice cream truck goes by and yeah, yeah, yeah. the push, specifically that orange kind of, anyway, we're not talking about that today. We're talking we're about- We're talking about Midnight Datura. So Parfums Cortana Midnight Datura was launched in 2016. It's a 50 ml bottle for $165. Uh, there's a price difference between this one and Wolf Spain, which is actually $185. The perfumer here is Lisa Fleischmann. So, um, a couple of things I want to also mention is um, the fragrances are now sold at the newly conceptualized, newly rebranded Perfumania stores. And there's two f stores that are open currently with this concept in Denver and Stamford, uh, Connecticut. So if you are near these stores, you can certainly go and sample the Parfums Cortana fragrances. Which brings us to the marketing theme that I was so excited about at the time last summer, which is um, it's all poisonous flowers. It's about ah. beauty and poison and beauty and danger, something like that, where... Um, I was very taken by this concept, like this idea that um, some of the most uh, visually appealing, um, in this case flowers, can be the most dangerous or poisonous or they toxic in a sense. So I think uh, the theme of this Parfum Cortana line is um, all of these poisonous flowers, Datura being one of them. It smells really, really beautiful, but people out here plant Datura um, to keep like the deer away from their, their plants because, oh, wow. because animals know like you stay away from, from the Datura. Flower. Wow. Uh, Wolfsbane is also poisonous. Um, and I just, I, it, again, if I was a responsible contributor to this channel, I would have looked up the rest of them and I, I, <laughs> I just didn't do that. So um, my apologies, but what is in, what is in this one? So this one has a lot of notes and accords and these are not specifically all notes, they're accords. And apparently you can't really extract the, the smell of Datura, so it has to be an accord. So what we have for notes and accords here are green leaf, mandarin, bergamot, davana, rum, jasmine, tuberose, magnolia, muguet, rose, violet, lavender, heliotrope, Datura, clove, nutmeg, pepper. What's that word? Balsam. Balsam, patchouli, vanilla, sandalwood, cedarwood, amber, and musk. So a lot nothing, going on. Nothing going on there. There's a lot going on. Yeah. But we do want to also warn you, this is an actual floral fragrance. Like it smells like flowers, whereas Wolf Spain was not necessarily very floral. It wasn't. Yeah. It was more like... Um, like a push bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I, I but in a really beautiful, like ordinarily gourmand's not my jam. But you know, I think I know why you like Wolf Spain. Tell me, because I don't Because know. it has that green an anise or licorice kind of smell in there. Ah, I yes. think it, it had anise or licorice or something in there. That, or maybe it was absinthe. But it, There was something about it that was just intoxicating mm -hmm. in, a, in a really compelling way. Um, ordinarily, I would not 
want to smell. But this is also very intoxicating. It's a beautiful white flower. It's very, very floral. It's also very fresh. And today we've had not necessarily a hot day here, but it's kind no. of on the humid side. And I felt like when wearing this one, it's not humid? No, it's actually like... I'm pretty warm today, so I don't know. If we, we run totally different temperatures. Look, I'm wearing like three shirts. You're wearing one. Um, I am pretty hot right, but all I mean, the time. this I feel is a beautiful spring, early summer. Just that bouquet of flowers. Now it's crazy. Wait, early summer? Not necessarily regular, like middle of the summer. I don't know. I don't think so. For I think me, this is perfect for like hot days. Maybe it, it comes alive. He was wearing this when I walked in, and it was this beautiful burst of um, not feminine necessarily, but this beautiful burst of floral fragrances. My reference point for Datura is uh, the Serge Luton. Datura um, Noir, Noir uh -huh. which is almost a... Um, I don't remember that one. It's it's really beautiful. I, I, I finished that bottle, um, like down to a little bit, which I gave to a friend. And it's um, it was almost alcoholic, the Datura Noir from Serge Luton. It was almost like um, just that, that ripeness that's almost rotten, you know what I mean? Where it's um, just so in full bloom that the decay has almost start to set mm, in. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I and I I, oh, I wore it to evening things. It was <laughs> it was not a daytime. This is a daytime. This is daytime friendly, which is interesting because Detour is uh, night blooming, I believe. Oh yeah, I think I've read that too. But do you know what I find unique about this? It is a floral. It's ultra floral, but it's not like a very feminine floral. There's no. something masculine or very unisex about it. And for me, the standout notes are the white flowers. There's a big all kinds of white flowers come forward. The tuberose is pretty big and whatever they're trying to create, the Datura smell is also pretty big. It's an accord. But on top of that, I, I get a very almondy, like powdery almondy quality. I thought the heliotrope was surprisingly forward when I smelled it on you. Which is what I'm getting the almondiness from. Uh -huh. It's from the heliotrope. Um, what, I, what really struck me about this is how clean it smells. Not laundry clean. Uh, not clean florals. So clean. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was a, a, a nice sort of uh, almost uh, photorealistic, like actual flowers, actual um, uh, like like a bouquet of flowers. Yes, taking like a smell of the bouquet of flowers. Yeah, Dude. which is neither I I mean it's neither feminine nor masculine. I guess really when you think about it. I think it's sort of leaning in the feminine side, but it's it's but one it that men you. men should be able to kind of access rather than going to like straight into like feminine florals it just doesn't scream ultra feminine but it is still for me on the feminine side yeah yeah the only reason i was saying early summer is that it is such a sort of heady bouquet and um maybe i've now been in california for so long that summer to me is like a dead zone like there's no plants anymore everything's died it's just so hot and this is this is that sort of damp sort of um everything's in bloom because it's just rained there's a moist moistness about this one do you get that and that's that's yeah that's more do you also get any fruitiness I, I get like light touches of fruits i'm not necessarily sure what i'm picking up but um it's gorgeous. Oh, though. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there is something. I don't know what that would be. Maybe it's the rum. Maybe it's. I that. think there's a fruitiness in the rum that's kind of coming in. Yeah, because it. I actually I prefer florals that have a little fruit. You do. There. Yeah, I think it it um, gives them a little um, rounder sort of more um, full fragrance. Full it's body. Not tinny. It's not that screechy kind of indolic floral. It's mm -hmm. it's a more. Um, so, robust. so do you get booziness? I don't get much booziness, no. but I get fruitiness more than the booziness. I, could, I can go with that. Yeah? And what about some ambery touches? Because it, it dries down to a small, uh, like a softer amber. I did smell the amber. You do? On you especially. Yeah. But it was um, blended really beautifully. The spices, the amber, uh, they kind of temper the floral um, and give it a little more depth than it might otherwise have. Now what about the, do you get the um, Davana in here? I don't know. Because we, we like we're pretty sensitive to Davana, don't you think? I don't know if I'm sensitive to Davana. Am Davana I? is sort of like Artemisia and. Uh, I like Artemisia. Yeah. I didn't know Davana and Artemisia. It's kind of in that same ballpark of licorice and absinthe. I didn't, I didn't honestly. Because I've been on a little crush with Artemisia this year. I don't. It you doesn't don't. jump out at me. Okay. Do you get. The I don't Davana? get it much either. Okay. But I thought we might be sensitive enough to get it, but we don't. I was going to be upset if you got it and I didn't, since 
you know. I got it. Uh, <laughs> um, no, but the spices are pretty forward. It's it's actually what makes I think the fragrance a little more masculine is the spices that are blended with the the white flowers give it a, a kind of a more of a balance rather than like leaning towards the feminine side. Don't you think? I don't. Think you don't pick up the spices like cloves are pretty prominent in here. I, for me. I felt I felt like that kind of blended with the amber and there's and it's it's anchoring the fragrance. I don't know if I would say that it is masculine particularly. No, it's not. It's definitely not masculine. What I was saying was more that unisex. it's making it more unisex and accessible by men who are really opposed to wearing flowers. I feel like more more guys should give it a chance. It's um just it's. I, I just don't think anybody's gonna like stop you, you know, and be like, what are you wearing? Well, I think usually men's chemistry will bring out the masculine parts of a floral fragrance and women's chemistry brings out the feminine parts of a floral fragrance. Well, right, I was watching one of uh, the videos we did and um, it was Tiziana Terenzi's uh, Ecstasy, which is a rose incense. Mm -hmm. And on you, it's incense and on me, it's rose. So, I mean, there's truth to that. Yeah. It was, I mean, but the, we, we, we famously, I think, well, not that we're famous, but we don't have the same body chemistry. We do not. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about the blue bottles with uh, Parfums Cortana? There's something about the blue that really attracts me. I Thoughts? like, I think it probably is good for the juice. I think it probably filters the light pretty well. Yeah. Um, and then you can still tell how much juice is in there when you look at it. Yeah. It's not completely black, which I like. Yeah. Yeah. This is a good, great color. It's, a good it's indigo, right? It's indigo blue. No, I I actually don't know. Oh, but it's it's like maybe co cobalt. Oh well, I, I it's mean, blue. It's 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 a it's a to blue royal royal blue. I'm gonna just make up blues now until it's Parfums Cortana blue. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So anything else we should say about that Midnight uh, Datura? Oh, should we show them the um, oh. Oh. It's on the box. I can tell you what the other ones are. Okay. Oh, she's going to tell you. Belladonna. Should have known that. Um, Bloodflower. Uh, Digitalis. Hemlock. Lily of the Valley. Famously poisonous in Outlander. If you're watching that, you're probably not. Don't. It's, I it's... learned that it was um, poisonous for the first time on May Day in Paris when I was there. Just Because on May Day in Paris in France, they usually put out a bouquet of Lily of the Valley. Valley, and they're like, "Don't chew on the leaves, yeah. or you'll die." I put it in my mouth. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say why. Okay. Um, also, Mandrake and uh, Poppy, you know, of the opiate fame, and uh, we talked about Wolfsbane, and we obviously have been talking about Datura. So those are Le Potion Fatal, um, the treacherous beauty and intriguing lore behind nine of the world's most poisonous flowers. Sucker for marketing. You have been disclaimed on You've that front. You've been sucked into the marketing. I love it. <laughs> Ultimately dark, sinister, and deadly. Yes. What should we have them do to participate in the giveaway? I have one requirement is for them to follow Parfums Cortana on YouTube. And uh, other than that, let's tell, let them tell us what their favorite poisonous flower is. I think we should make them garden for this one. Yeah. We should have, um, what, uh, what, what, you know, well, we don't want people like really talking about poisoning each other on your channel in the comments. Do no, we? they just let, let us know what their favorite poisonous flower is. Or plant. Or plant. Yeah, it doesn't have to flower. Or animal. <laughs> anyway. Sure. Yeah. So do that. Please follow or subscribe to Parfums Cortana on YouTube. I have a link in the info box. And then also please put your um, state because this is a, a USA open uh, giveaway only. And one more requirement, please make sure you're subscribed. Please uh, let me know. And other than that, Thanks let us know what you think about the Midnight Datura, if you've tried it, if you like it, and have you sampled any of the other fragrances from Parfums Cortana? Please put that down. Other than that, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and uh, I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.